the Lagos International Trade Fair, which is said to be the largest exhibition in West Africa, kicked off in Lagos, Nigeria. This year marks the 33rd year for which the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry took on the role of organizing the trade fair as a bridge to help traders link products by various producers with potential customers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, trade fairs create an avenue for producers of services, providers, and end users to converge and facilitate trade and commerce. A good tempo of trade and commerce activity is critical driver of economic growth as no economy can expand to create opportunities for its population without thriving commerce. It is the traders that connect producers and consumers. A commitment to promoting and connecting businesses across transnational border remains strong and unshaken. We shall leave no stone unturned in ensuring that Lagos State truly becomes a 21st century economy, which actually supports the growth of the local economy through improved ease of doing business, innovative incentives and interventions, as well as quality service delivery by a well-motivated public service. Also, let me assure you that our aim is to be Africa's model mega city and the melting pot of business and industrial activity in the sub region. We will not rest on our hearts until the economic landscape of our state is transformed and repositioned to meet the expectations of the business community and also achieve the goal of becoming a destination of choice for foreign direct investment. I have no doubt that the focal objective of this fair which includes showcasing of new products from our indigenous industries, will bring together wholesalers, retailers, and consumers from all over the world to trade in the most robust manner while connecting businesses and creating value for the growth of the nation. I also want to believe that the aim of this fair, which is to connect businesses and create value, is meant to empower African entrepreneurs through the bridging of technological gaps, developing and improving local business strategies, championing strategic investments, and creating access to markets, thereby developing the Nigerian economy. The opening ceremony hosted foreign delegates from across the African continent and beyond, business owners, ambassadors amongst others. Ethiopia was represented by the Ethiopian ambassador plenipotentiary and extraordinary to Nigeria. The Lagos International Trade Fair is the largest and one of the best international trade fairs both in Nigeria and in our continent. I am therefore grateful to the organizers for inviting Ethiopia to be a partner country at such a reputable trade fair with its rich traditions. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, after coming to power of His Excellency Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize winner, Ethiopia is undergoing unprecedented political and economic reforms. Ethiopia is developing specialized world-class industrial parties which are ready for plug and play in strategic locations all over the country. We have a successful and reputable Airline, the Pan-African Ethiopian Airlines, of course. Ethiopian products have duty-free, quota-free market access to a wide global uh, regions. Ethiopia is one of the African countries that has signed and ratified the African continental free trade area. I'm very happy to note that Nigeria has also done so, and this will unleash the potential of our continent for business. Ethiopian Airlines now is a household name in the aviation industry in Africa. First of all, we are number one in Africa. We go everywhere. The main purpose of setting up an Ethiopian alliance is to connect all Africans to the rest of the world and bring businesses from all over the world into Africa. That is why in all the countries of Africa, we have a footprint. Now we fly to over 125 destinations in Africa. 
we go to the Europe, we are all there, in America, we are all there. In fact, recently we just opened a route in America, that is Houston. It's massive, we are everywhere. And it's and our fares are affordable because we want Africans to be involved. By that, we are here to represent the country. So Ethiopia is a destination in Africa. Of course, everybody knows that Ethiopia is the capital of Africa, but the fact that African Union as a capital in Ethiopia. And um, we are here to also invite the participants in this trade fair to come visit Ethiopia. Ethiopia has a natural and serene environment that we are inviting people to come and see. This is a country that was not colonized. This is a country that is purely natural. 12 months of coldness. There is no trouble there, there is peace. We are inviting people to come for business. You can see that we brought some natural things from Ethiopia. The coffee, Ethiopian coffee is the best. When you go to Ethiopia, it's a busy place, you can go for business. The hospitality in Ethiopia is second to none. So we invite even Nigerians to come to Ethiopia. And also, it's, it will um, interest you to know that Ethiopia has opened up its borders that you don't need a visa from here to board. All you just need is to get online, fill a form, and then get to Addis Ababa and get your visa on arrival. So you don't have a problem. So Ethiopia is open for everyone. We're welcoming everybody with open arms. Um, if you look behind me, you'll see the website, the portal. You'll see the portal for investors, potential investors. Uh, a lot of multinationals are already operating in Ethiopia. They're manufacturing their products. IKEA, H&M, you know, um, because we have the infrastructure needed for production for African businesses, even international businesses, to come and set up their production facilities in Ethiopia. So we're we more than welcome. It's all online, and you can get all the information from the uh, iGuide Ethiopia. For Plus TV Africa, Irene Ubani.